Hey everybody, it's Steve. Um, I just want to talk about this watch face that I got a couple days ago. Now, I have the original, as you can see, Samsung Galaxy Gear. And let me just say, you know, I love this smartwatch. Now, I'm going to get the Apple Watch when it comes out. As you can see, this is the um, uh, watch face that kind of mimics what the Apple Watch is going to look like. Now, I'm going to get the Apple Watch to go with my 6 Plus when it comes out. But I got to say, you know, the Apple Watch, along with like the Galaxy Gear S, which I think is a fantastic watch too, every smartwatch so far has let me down except for the original Gear and the Gear 2 because none of them have a camera. Now, if you have the original Gear or the Gear 2, you know what I mean is that having the camera built in can be such a handy feature and such a fun feature to use that... Like, especially with Samsung with the Gear S, you know, I was so looking forward to that because, you know, it can run independently of the phone. It could go online, you know, separately of the phone. But they didn't put a camera in it. And I'm like, why not? Because the camera is such an awesome feature. But anyway, let's move on. And I want to talk about this watch face that I got. Now, I've only, since I've had this uh, watch, you know, God, you know, going on what? It'll be a year and a half. I've only gotten a couple watch faces because I'm not really into watch faces. I bought a couple and I wasn't really too pleased with them. They, you know, I thought they were too overhyped when I finally got them. So this one though, I think is really cool. And let me show it to you. Let's go into the gear manager. Let me put that down and let me go up. I'm trying to do this behind the camera. So please, just, you know, bear with me. Where is that? Here it is right here. Let's click on that. So this is the name of the watch face, which is Infinity Watch Curl Ball. Yeah, I couldn't read that for a second. So, and like I said, you can see here, you read it for yourself. It kind of looks like the watch face of the new Apple Watch that is coming out. Now this watch face cost me $1.99 or $2 with taxes. And let me tell you, for me, it's totally worth it. I just want to show you some of the features of why I think it was worth it. So let me get my um, watch back on. Now you can see there it has the analog clock. That's one of the things I don't really like about it, I have to say, is I don't like the analog clock. I would prefer if it was digital. But, you know, it's a little small thing. Um, what else? You can see that it has the battery percentage, it has the date. And let me show you, like... When you want to see something, you just click it. So I'll just get the phone out of my way. So let's say I want to go to weather. I'll just tap it. Okay, swipe back home. Sorry, like I said, I'm trying to do this behind the camera, so it's not that easy. So let's say I want to go to my schedule. Click right here. Let me grab my other hand. Okay, no events. So we can go into... Okay, there's the timer. So let's say you want to go into the, you know, voice record. Just tap it. And you can hear, it always does that little haptic buzzing noise. See if you can hear that. Now go into the um, phone. But, you know, it's just kind of a really neat thing. It's just kind of a neat feature because, you know, everything's right on the front of the screen and just available for a tap. You know, you can access, say, your gallery. You know, um, email. Um, you can get into your contacts, which I don't want to open up and, you know, have my contacts right there on the screen. But it's just, you know, it's kind of really a neat thing. You know, here you can get into settings. Just tap it. Go right into it. You know, I got to say, I really like this watch face. I think they did a really good job putting all the stuff you're going to use right on your home screen. Um, like I said, the only thing, you know, I don't like is I, is I don't like that little analog clock in the center. I think digital would have been better or, you know, having the choice to switch it to digital. But really, that's not, you know, too critical because, you know, everybody, we can read an analog clock. It's not that difficult. Um, another neat thing that I like is I'm not, as I don't really use milk music that much, but if you see the little music symbol there, that does not control the actual music player built into the watch. That is for milk music. So let me try to give you a little demonstration. Let me click it. Let me see. Hold on. Let me turn up my volume on my phone. See if I can get that going. Okay, there we go. So you can control. You can see there is 
milk music. So that controls. So you know you could pause it, uh, fast forward it, change the volume. So let's try skipping to the next song. So you could you know skip songs. So going back, like I said, I'm doing this behind the camera, so it's not easy. So huh, let's see, maybe we can't go backwards. So, anyway, okay, maybe we can't go backwards, I don't know, maybe it's a glitch with the, the system, but it's kind of cool because you can control your milk music. So, like I said, I don't use milk all the time, but having it there is kind of neat. Um, so, yeah, a buck ninety-nine. it's a really cool watch face, it's a lot of fun, so I definitely recommend you check it out. But, alright, that's about it, and thanks for watching, and I will talk with you later.